and welcome back to another video made by me. Uh, today is a little bit different because we are doing a sketchbook tour or many sketchbooks, I don't know, depending on how long this takes me. Wait, noisy chair, noisy chair. Okay, depending on how long this takes me, we'll see how many of these we get through. But today I'm excited to try this out because it's a little bit different. Usually I draw, I, I record the video, and then I record the voiceover later after I've edited it. But this time, I am recording the voice while I'm recording the video, so hi! I don't know how to wave up at the camera like that. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so there's a little bit of background noise today, but I'm just going to pretend that's not here. Well, not, not there. And I'm going to maybe just turn the music up in the background a little bit more. So let's, let's get started. Number one. This is the first sketchbook I ever had. Uh, maybe one day, like, okay, this was from 2018, so it's it's pretty early on. I'm gonna have a disclaimer. I'm not proud of a lot of these <laughs> pictures, but I'm gonna show you so that you can see the progress, you know, what I had to... <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a very long, slow process. So I have a big, like, a shoebox full of drawings that I did before this, before I had a sketchbook. Um, they are very bad. Most of them are just plain traced, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Some of them it's pretty obvious. Um, and it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're very bad. So maybe one day if you, if you would like to see that and laugh with me, we can go, we can go through that box. But right now we're just gonna start from the sketchbook. So this 2018 you can see it's got like a little cover it's got tape all over it because it's worn out this poor thing I'm gonna try very hard not to set anything on fire because that would be sad <laughs> okay so here we go I always write a thing at the beginning because I would be very sad if I lost my sketchbook because this is it's like it's history you know one day when I'm rich and famous I'll <laughs> show everyone these <laughs> I'm gonna get ready to not show anyone these because that, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> There's ladybugs and gentleman bugs. These little pictures is when I was realizing I can actually just draw whatever I want. I don't have to draw some what someone else has drawn, so I still like this one. I think it's pretty cute. It's a little mermaid. I never finished the water. I don't know how to draw water. <laughs> um, wizard dude. That's when I thought I was an aspiring pencil artist, like yes, I can do shading, that's amazing. That didn't go well. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it was a picture I had in my head and I thought it was pretty cool. I still like this guy, I think he's, I like his pose and he's, he's crazy man, he's cool. Um, this, I don't remember if I copied this from someone else's or something, but I mean it's the best hand I'd drawn in a while, foreshortening or whatever, it looks weird but like... I've done worse. <laughs> this is a thing from Star Wars, I don't remember what it's called, I just drew it because I had friends that were freaking out about Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars very much. If you're watching this and you like Star Wars, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. <laughs> but I did think this thing was cute, so I drew this for a friend and they thought it was cute. Here is an Otto playing a violin. I don't remember if I copied this off of Pinterest. Again, in this pic, in this, um, sketchbook a lot of the things I just copied because I didn't have any ideas so I would just look on Pinterest and find something cute and then look at it and then redraw it so I don't know if that's allowed but like I'm not selling them or anything I just I guess it was just a lot of practice after this and maybe the next sketchbook I started realizing that I can actually just make up my own stuff and then I was like oh I can draw whatever I want so yeah <laughs> I was trying to draw a character with different facial expressions this one Okay, I like, I like this one. I think this one's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's wrong with that one, but it doesn't look like whatever emotion that was supposed to be. <laughs> so yeah, that I, as you can see, there were only like four more I had to do, but I never finished it. Like a lot of things in the sketchbook. This was a day I was at church and I forgot my notebook. I would not do this now, but I just wrote the notes in my sketchbook. But I mean, there's some pictures too. They're cute. Wow, shading. Amazing. <laughs> a frog. I like this frog. I still draw a lot of frogs. 
this was when I was trying to I was trying to draw like a little avatar of myself that is not what I look like but I would have liked to have thought that's what I looked like so that's <laughs> that's what I came up with this is my sister drew these because we were watching um, what's that game called little nightmares where they have all these little little mushroom guys and they're really cute so <laughs> here I drew my own little mushroom guys and I love them so much they're so cute I would love to watch a movie just about these two <laughs> I love that they don't have faces but they still got personality <laughs> here's my little thing again I <laughs> fun fact I don't know if you knew this about me or didn't know this about me I used to have a pet hedgehog and I named him pretzel now I I don't know anything about hedgehogs, someone just gave him to me and I was so excited because I love hedgehogs, but Pretzel hated me, I, I don't know why, he was just an angry little thing, he hated everything about everything, even if I gave him food he was just angry and he was huffing all the time and prickling up and like I could pick him up and he would chill out sometimes and just go to sleep, but one time I booped him on the nose and I guess I guess hedgehogs don't like that so sorry pretzel he bit he bit me on my finger and his tooth went right through my nail <laughs> oh yeah yeah that guy he had problems and then then he chewed his feet off and then he died so I, I don't know what his problem was I really liked him but he didn't like me and I, I cried a little bit that was really sad but oh yeah yeah he had a very angry I don't, I don't know what his problem was, but yeah, that's him, you can see. So here, I was trying to make a little avatar, I was like, yep, that's what I look like, of course, because I used to have a pixie cut, um, and then I was like, these are my three tanks that I have, you know, I got creativity, energy, and sadness, and sometimes, you know, okay, this was 2018, I was 16, still kind of going through a bit of a phase where you're like, you know what, I'm a teenager, so I'm sad sometimes, because that's what teenagers do. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I I was very cringy from, like, 12 onwards. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. So yeah, it was just, like, based on how full these tanks are, that's how I'm feeling today. And then there's Pretzel sitting in the back of the little, my little cart, and he's just got his bottle full of anger, and it's just spilling out everywhere. <laughs> It was just an idea that I had, but that's not my style, so I never really used that for anything else. Look, a thing. This should definitely be in my sketchbook. <laughs> Please note the sarcasm. I don't know why this is here. I drew these two. I still think they're really cute. I, he's got weird eyes, but I really like these two. I think they're cute. I would like to see like a, a book about them or something. This is What's-His-Name from Newsies, the musical. I love it. Of course, I looked at someone else's picture who drew this and then I redrew it. None of this in here is traced, I don't think, but I, I do know a lot of it is copied. They weren't my own ideas, so that's pretty fun. I couldn't draw hands, obviously. There's no hand and this is rubbed out many times. I was like, no, that's how it was supposed to be, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, this guy. <laughs> I saw, okay, this one wasn't technically copied. I saw a picture of a ballerina dude on Pinterest. And I was like, wow, that's a pretty cool um, pose. And again, I don't, I can't draw people. So I was pretty proud of this one at the time, but I don't know what's wrong with it at this point. His face, he looks like he's sick, like he's gonna throw up or something. I don't know. And again, I can't draw hands, but I mean, I also can't draw hats. So that is one of the best hats I've drawn in a long time. I don't know how this guitar isn't just falling out of his hand because he's just like Barbie hands. <laughs> um, this is when I bought my first two Copic markers. Copic? Copic? I don't know. And I thought I would try them out. I still have a bit of an obsession with mushrooms. I love them. But I don't like this picture. So, And then I found out how much they bleed through the back of the paper and I was like, oh, that's fun. <laughs> Then I had some fine liners, Copic markers, pencils, and highlighters. I don't know what this thing is. I thought I was going to be like a creature designer at some point, and then I realized I can't do that. I am bad at that. I can't design animals. I don't know what this is. It just doesn't look good. And then, this was one of those days where I really wanted to draw, but I had no ideas. So I drew a rainbow of... What are these? Hot air balloons. My brain's trying to call them water balloons. Like, I know for a fact that is not a water balloon. <laughs> no. Hot air balloons. So that's fun. This little dude is an idea that I had. He 
he's a little he's a little robot as you can see he actually that was the beginning of my if you, I think it's my profile picture on YouTube now if you look at that it's it's similar but I redrew him later on you'll see um, I still like this lady I think she's really cool I was happy because um, in other pictures okay <laughs> this guy's back I didn't color him in at all but when I started coloring things in I would struggle because I only had pens like fine liners and highlighters and like three Copic markers so I would color everything in but then I didn't have a skin color so I would just leave the skin blank so I finally I bought a skin tone just one because those things are expensive <laughs> and I was so happy because I could finally color my whole thing out again my, my whole the whole pictures in so this lady she's cool I was trying to think of like graffiti this is kind of like an alley or something I don't know why there's a light bulb hanging in the alley but I thought she's got these like bottles of neon paint and she like throws them and they smash on the wall and splat and that was a cool idea I still kind of like her I might redraw her one day surprisingly enough I actually made her up out of my brain wow so smart <laughs> for once I didn't copy something Okay, this is the dude from The Greatest Showman. I'm not good at remembering names in the moment, so you know who he is. That You know, Hugh Jackman, the, the dude. I still like this picture. I was so proud of it when I drew it. But again, I, I probably saw someone else. I probably copied it from someone else's, but yeah, it, it came out nice. Okay, I made these two up. Kirk and Gibson. I love them so much. This is when I was starting to get onto the trend of finding out that I can actually draw what I want, just make up whatever. So again, this was my, my like two Copic markers that I used and like a sort of brush pen. It wasn't a brush pen, it was kind of like a Koki, but like a soft Koki someone gave me. It was like whatever that make is, the pens that, uh, what are those pens called? Okay, yes, I don't care. You know, fine liners, they're kind of yellow, they're cool. It's a nice make. Um, <laughs> so the, Oh, hiccup, pardon. Kirk and Gibson, I love them. That's his dog. K Gibson is a whole mood. That is that is me. I feel like that a lot of the time. <laughs> and yeah, I like Kirk's hair. It's pretty fun. Um, there's Gabby and Duke. I did not feel like drawing right here, as you can see. I just kind of scribbled it. Of course, this is a Bull Terrier. I have loved Bull Terriers for a long time. They're, they're the best. I love them. I love her hair, and I love her shirt, and she's cool. Her face looks a little weird, I don't know why, but this is a mermaid. As you can see, for a while I have struggled with this area on people because I don't want to practice drawing some things and arms, I just, I can't do it. Shoulders and I just, so this mermaid doesn't have arms and you know what? I told myself it's a mermaid. The mermaids don't exist, so I can just make it whatever I want, but still it looks weird. I can just imagine her swimming through the ocean, like, flapping that whatever that is instead of arms. It looks really weird. I don't like her. Um, I like this picture. It was, um, I went, I did a, like, a joint live stream on Insta Instagram with one of my friends one time, and we just drew some stuff, and yeah, it was fun. We just chose a few words, I think, and then I drew... I drew this. I think it was like mushroom and wizard or whatever. As you can see, I draw I draw a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> um, but it was awkward because something went wrong with the live stream, and I think she could hear, like she could read the comments or something, and I couldn't, or or something like that. I couldn't hear her talking. Or I, something was weird where the the things weren't joined up, and there were all these people asking. Like, I think it was people that knew her but didn't know me, and I'm just like talking and talking and <laughs> I only realized later on she's trying to talk to people that are commenting and I'm just like rambling about nonsense. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. I don't even know what they were talking about, so that was fun. <laughs> okay, this is one of those things where I have ideas when I'm asleep and then I wake up and I'm like, that is brilliant. I should draw that. So this one was... Um, like what if a snail had arms and legs instead of just one big foot and of course I gave it human arms and legs still I can still not draw feet as you can see <laughs> and the hands and everything but it's just kind of slimy but it this picture made me laugh a lot it creeped some kids out I don't know why kids like looking through my sketchbooks and this one creeped them out for some reason no one liked it <laughs> But I like it because I, I like imagining how he's like walking on these slimy snail hands and feet and then like slipping and 
smashing his face or like ow if a shell falls on your head and it's like three times the size of your body it would probably be quite sore but uh, I feel bad for this guy he's a he's an abomination <laughs> okay this is where I was trying to okay what's that that band I like drawing quotes sometimes, but I'm really bad at fonts. I, only, I can only draw like two fonts because I never learned how to write in cursive. But I think the band is called Bell Arrive? I don't know how to say it, but I know how to spell it. They had a cool song called something, I don't remember. But it had like a spoken word sort of bit, and it was a really cool quote, so I liked it. But I never finished it because it was too long and I couldn't figure out how to fit it in, so I just gave up. <laughs> this was one of those days when... I wanted to draw but I had no ideas so I was like oh let's just practice and then I realized oh I can't draw right now but you can see over here can you see I'm too short to look at the camera so I have to keep standing up to see if it's in the frame okay yes look watch out candle um, over here focus there we go uh, that's Chad and if you have seen my um, Inktober pictures for 2017 I think um, no 18 probably yeah because it's, it's only in October it's not in <laughs> June you can see this was in June so that that was my first idea I was like I'm I'm so tired of trying to make up a character so like what am I gonna do and then I realized I don't have to make a character like an actual person I can make it an onion so I made it an onion and I had a lot of fun here's another bull terrier I like bull terriers I still like this picture because I had just bought a silver pen and I love it so much I still have those silver pens the same make not the exact same pen but uh, same make Whew. I'm talking too much I'm getting out of breath I need to calm down <laughs> okay so this is like a robot lady. I don't know how electronics work, but I've seen things like this before with like, you know, like strips of different colored wires that go into plugs and I'm like, looks like a computer, I don't know. So <laughs> I just got a brush pen also so I could color in like large areas of black without it looking streaky and I love that brush pen still. So that's, that's this one and then I drew a guy version of it so that was, they're pretty cool. I was still working on my side profiles, I still am, I can't draw side profiles but I like the two of them, I think they look cool. Um, that also creeped some kids out for some reason, I don't know why. You know the one that creeped them out the most though was this one which does make sense I guess so. <laughs> I like these guys still, as you can see I'm still working with pens. I just had a highlighter pen sort of thing, that was a good pen. I can't draw light, I don't know, I just like, uh, stripes, yay that's how light works I'm sure. So it's just a, a mummy anglerfish and a baby anglerfish, like oh so cute, so cute. I love anglerfish, I have loved them since the first time I watched Finding Nemo. Best fish. <laughs> this was supposed to be, um, what's his name? Honestly, in my brain, everyone is called what's his name, basically. I think his name's Brian Deckard from, um, because I was watching Detroit Become Human. I think it's, I think it's Brian Deckard. Yeah, that's, I think that's the one. And he was like the main character, and I was like, he has the nicest face in the world, so I tried to draw him. I can't draw hair or people and like his ears are like, eh. <laughs> but I was proud of it at the time I'm still I can't draw realistically so it's still one of the better ones I've done but I can see it's I shading I what who is shading I don't know. <laughs> but yeah um, this is the sort of thing that when you have like um, when people that have known you your whole life like friends, family friends, they look through your sketchbook and they'd be like, ooh, is that your boyfriend? <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, someone from the internet. I just, as an artist, I draw people, like if I see a face or an outfit that I like, I just, I draw them. It doesn't mean I want to marry them, <laughs> usually. <laughs> I just, it's, I just like, they just have a nice face. And as an artist, I can appreciate things that look nice and I do not want to marry this guy. But he had a nice face, so that was cool. <laughs> you get the idea. I'm going to stop talking now about that. Okay, this one I liked. I had a purple highlighter. As you can see, it went dry after this. <laughs> I wonder why. But yeah, I still like her. I think she's pretty cool. She's kind of scary, but she's, she's cool. 
Spider-Man. I have loved Spider-Man for a very long time and I've drawn a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Um, this one I was sad with because, uh, let's get it in here, over here on the face. You can see how I, I was coloring in and I got the, the red lines into his nose. I'm like, I didn't do that anywhere else. Okay, well I did, but it wasn't noticeable anywhere else. And then I had to get it like on his nose and his chin and it looks like he scraped his chin on something and his nose is bleeding so <laughs> that was annoying at the time but I was proud of the rest of it. I don't know what is going on here because he's holding onto a string that I made silver but that's like joining onto his chest? I don't know how Spider-Man works. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is when I was still trying to convince myself and everyone else that I had a choice in what I didn't draw. So, I didn't draw feet. So, okay, this is all sarcastic. This is what I was telling myself. I don't need to draw feet because it's just the style, you know? Like, no one will know that I'm just not drawing them because I can't draw them. Like, it's just the style. She's an angel. Doesn't have feet. I don't know. Also, the hand. I don't have to draw either of these hands because it's, it's just she's... It's not in the picture. And also eyes, I can't, I, you don't need those. It's not because I can't draw them, it's just because it's not in the picture. <laughs> so this is one of the worst examples of that, where I felt like I was doing a really good job, but like no one will notice that I'm just leaving those out because it's gonna make the picture look worse. <laughs> so yeah, that was mm, failure, but I just bought a brown pen at this point because I saw some cool like anatomy drawings and then I realized I can't draw that well and the pen was not the secret. <laughs> Oh, look, it says shark. I like this one. So you can see I'm getting less and less into copying other people's pictures. So that is more healthy for art, I think. I can't draw pom-poms. I still can't. But I love this guy so much because it's, it's just a birthday shark. I don't I don't remember the thought process behind this. It's just, it's just a birthday shark. <laughs> um, I really like this lady. I love her nose and I love how her hair is like coming out of the headband. But I was so annoyed because she looked... I don't know if you can see it, but like... If I take the eye, the eye, eye shadow away, she looked really nice, and I loved her and the eye, sh the eye shapes. I was so proud of them because they matched. And then I get, I was like, ooh, makeup, give her eye shadow. And then she looks mean. Like, why does she look so mean now? <laughs> so I was really disappointed. But she's just, she just looks mean now. But I still like her, and she's cute. Okay, I only realized when it was too late, but I'm gonna have to chop this video in half and have a part one and part two because this is way too long. I didn't realize how long I'd been talking for. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end this here. And so if that sounds not natural, um, sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this half of my sketchbook. Um, and I will see you again next time, hopefully. You know, YouTube has buttons, you know what to do with them. So yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.